OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Esther Daniel. I'm from Okwaibom State, but I live here in Port Harcourt, GRA to be precise. I want to return all glory to this God who has done more than I could ever ask or think of. Um, August 2018, I got a job and I was placed on one year probation. During my probationary period, my school was expected to respond to a request in respect of my verification of my certificate, which they did not. So September stroke October 2019, confirmation letters started coming in and mine didn't come in. So I ran to the HR personnel and asked why I didn't have my letter. And I was told that my school did not respond to the request that was sent in respect of the verification of my certificate. I have to get back to my school. I got back to my school and I was told they haven't received any request of such that I should get back to the office. I got back to the office, office said it was sent. So I didn't have a choice I had to come to the altar and pray. And funny enough, that was the same period we had the seven Sundays um, summoning. So I decided to summon spirit of delay and I also presented strong reasons to God why I shouldn't miss the job. I told him my first salary came here and I pay my tight here and all that. And before I could know what happened, school called back that they have seen the request but they haven't found my result and that the verification unit have sent a message, uh, a mail to my department requesting for my result. So it became another thing. I still came back, I still summoned. Then to the glory of God, the school called me again and told me they found everything and they have re uh, responded to the request and I should get back to my office and tell them that the needful has been done. I said, okay, thank you. So my letter came in and I was so grateful to God, I was happy. I picked the letter and put it in a file that I normally put all my credentials. Because I was supposed to have given a testimony in respect of that, but I went on a series of training. So I had it in mind to later come and do the testimony or give the testimony when I'm back. But when I finally came back, I couldn't find the file. I searched the whole boxes that I dropped the envelope that contains my whole document, the original copies of my documents, including my uh, training materials and everything, I couldn't find the file. I silently searched for it. One month passed, I couldn't find it. I became confused and a bit worried. So I now ran to Chief Matt and I told him, sir, something serious has happened and I don't know how to go about this. Because already I have tried making little inquiry in the office, if I, by mistake, misplaced such document, what will happen to me and my job? And I was told, police extract, and that's not even a good thing to say for someone like me, that I'm too young for that. So I now told him, he said, okay, he's gonna talk with dad and see how he can get maybe an appointment booked for me. And to God be the glory, after Sunday service last week, I got to meet with dad in the office, and I told him what happened. I told him I, I put my file in my box and ever since then I have not found it. I could not even testify concerning the uh, confirmation that God did for me. So he was like, open your mouth. I opened my mouth, he put oil in my mouth and asked me to close my eye and take my spirit to my house. So I did that and the next thing hit me on my chest and told me it is done. I got back home, I felt like looking for it but one mind still told me, uh, you said the whole house, so where do you want to start again? I said, okay, let me just leave it. God will do it. I just told God, fix it. I don't know how you're going to fix it because with my own understanding, I've tumbled the whole house. In fact, it was remaining for me to carry up a spoon and look for a, an envelope. But I don't know how you do it. Just do it. I got to the office on Tuesday. I got a mail that I'm supposed to be in Lagos for um, an event and stuff like that, representing my office. So I decided to drag one of the boxes in my room that was even standing, because I have some up there in the wardrobe. So I, drug that, I, dr I dragged that box up to myself. I open it to bring out some of the clothes that I'm going to travel with. To the glory of God, I found the file. If Jesus is a of him, can we see the prophecy when she was prayed for?
Of him. When she came, she made daddy that daddy, my documents, I cannot see them for some months. That is okay. Take your spirit to your house. That was the prayer. Take your spirit to the house. Bam! After the prayer, how many days did it take you to get it? Two days. Two I days! Earlier, I would have found it. If I, I believe if I search earlier, maybe the next day or that very day, I would have found it. The prayer was made on Sunday. Yes, yeah, Sunday evening. Then on Tuesday, I found it. He, she found it. Give Jesus a glove of him. Look at all, he, all her documents. All her documents. Look at it. Is it Oh. Appointment letter. Everything disappeared. But after the prayer, boom! Everything reappeared. 